Hi, this is a tutorial. In this video, we are going to look at a list of account names and then we're going to try and justify why those accounts will always have a debit balance or a credit balance. The format of the slide is arranged as follows. We have uh, an account of interest, so cash account. The question that we have to answer is, will cash account have uh, a debit balance or a credit balance? And then we have to, you know, we do our working notes in this open area on the slide. And I have an account format on the slide, just in case I need that to illustrate, uh, you know, the ideas that I'm trying to convey to you. So let us get started. So we have cash account and cash account is uh, an asset and the rule that we learned, the pattern that we saw from the previous video, all assets are uh, going to have a debit balance. Now with this understanding, let's try to question this notion and uh, try to object to it and say why would this happen? Why can't cash account, if this is the cash account, why can this not have a credit balance? Okay, now justification, let's do some discussion here. In any transaction where cash is involved, cash is going to be used to pay for something, for purchasing something or for an expense or cash is going to be received because of some service that has been provided uh, or an income which is being received. So there are only two ways in which cash you know, moves. One is cash goes up, the other is cash goes down. Now when cash goes up, you say you have a receipt of cash and when cash goes down, you have a payment of cash. All right. Whenever you have a receipt, cash is an asset, is also hence a real account. And uh, whenever cash comes in, we say debit what comes in and credit what goes out. Therefore, whenever cash comes in, the journal entry is going to be cash account debit. When cash account uh, is debited in this transaction where you are receiving the cash, the other account involved is going to be credited. Let us say cash is coming in because you are selling the goods. So sales account, right? So sale account is an income and income is nominal, uh, credit all incomes and gains, hence sale is credit. Okay. If the cash being received is not due to sales, but due to, let us say, interest income earned on the bank deposit. Then what is going to happen? In that case, again, cash is coming in. So you will write cash account debit. And instead of sales account, you would say to interest income account. Interest income account. Okay. Now, if let's say another source of income could be you sell off an asset, you sell off uh, a furniture or a building or land and cash comes into the business. What is the journal entry? Again, cash is coming in. You will debit cash account and you are going to credit the asset account which is being sold because asset is also real account and credit what goes out. Asset is going out, cash is coming in. Likewise, you take any transaction in which cash is coming in, cash is going to be debit and the other account is going to be credit. Now, if this is true and we've established this to be true uh, using the principles of double interest system. Now, in this case, when you prepare the cash account, all these transactions, which are receipts, which are reasons for cash coming into the business, they are going to be written on the debit side all receipts go to debit side because in all the transactions involving receipts cash account is debited so you go to the debit side of the cash account and you are going to write all the accounts due to which cash is coming in so you write two sales to interest earned to any asset which is being sold or to any other type of income which is going to be written here now let us look at the payment side. 
for the payment side whenever cash goes out the entry is going to be reversed which means that you are going to write to cash account now cash can go out of the business if you are purchasing goods so purchase account is going to be debit and cash account is going to be credit you could also pay rent for the building so rent account is going to be debit to cash account you could purchase an asset so asset account debit to cash account you could pay transportation cost you could pay any other you know operational or non operational expenses operational expenses account debit so the bottom line is in all the payments in all the payments the cash account is going to be credited therefore all the uh, payment transactions are going to appear on the credit side of the cash account so you can write by purchase by asset by rent by any other expense expenses account account and account all right now this is the pattern of the cash account you have all the uh, receipts on this side and all the payments on this side and we are talking about cash in hand we are not, not talking about the bank balance here now cash in hand is uh, you know you have some money in your say you know drawer in the uh, desk drawer in the uh, business and you are going to spend that money you can only spend the money which you have you can't spend more there is no overdraft facility available therefore it means that money has to uh, first come into the business so this is always step 1 you have to first bring money into the business and we missed one major receipt of cash which could be capital brought in but typically we say capital goes into a uh, bank uh, anyways the point is first receipts uh, you know cash comes into the business business receives cash and then payments are made if you do not have cash you can't make the payments so intuitively logically uh, you know you would uh, you would not be able to spend more than uh, the cash that you have and if you look into the general entries that you have in any business you will see that you will never be able to you know transact and hence will never write a general entry uh, of you know cash being paid if you don't have cash so transaction will only take place when you have cash in hand and when you transact and you know this is the first step first the cash will come in and then you pay the cash i can't emphasize it more so there you go cash uh, and asset account is always going to have a debit balance